A while back, I mean a while, while back, I asked the Reddit community about their opinions on controversial issues in CSGO. While it can't be a completely accurate representation of the subreddit considering the issues with voluntary surveys and how far down the posts appear on Reddit, with a sample size of over 1,500, the survey was able to give us pretty conclusive results about those that answered it. All this was interesting on its own, a few weeks ago I became interested in the current opinion of these same issues to see how the times have changed. Once again, I posted to the CSGO subreddit basically an identical post. A pretty dumb thing I did was submit the post at a different time, which probably changed the makeup of who answered the survey. Even if this is a pretty bad mistake, the demographics showed that the group that answered wasn't too different from last year. First I'll go over the overall effect of what was seen by Reddit. In the largest generalization, the change in opinion seems to be pretty positive for almost all of the issues I asked, meaning people are happier with these questions now than a year ago. This seems like a good thing, but this could be the result of both good and bad causes. Some possible good causes are that Valve has done a better job with the game, or the CSGO community is becoming more understanding with the same problems. A bad cause could be that the people that had these problems finally jumped shipped over the past year due to the rise of popular games persuading them to leave. For the stats dudes among you, in this spreadsheet I did a chi-square test of homogeneity, two sample t-tests, and 95 confidence intervals for both years and their difference. If you don't know anything I just said, don't worry, I won't be referencing these for the rest of the video. For the Reddit community, there was a slight increase in the makeup of Europeans, while the North American subset took the largest decline. I wouldn't panic too much much if you're in North America, as the time the survey was posted and thus when people would have seen the thread on Reddit would be different, at its peak probably around 1 to 4 a.m. in the Western Hemisphere. Again, don't take too much from this question, but it seemed that South America also grew in its percent of the population. Legendary Eagle through Global Elite increased in the representation, where all ranks below it, excluding MGE, MG2, and Unranked, decreased. Why could this be? I'm not entirely sure since I don't have evidence to point towards anything. One guess is that as the players of CSGO decline, the players that are better at the game would tend to play for a larger amount of time, meaning more of the global elites, or reddit globals, would appear to increase as the lower, less skilled, and perhaps less dedicated ranked players left. This is only a guess, since I don't have any evidence that skilled players would stick around for longer. On to normal questions. How satisfied was the community with Valve's approach to CSGO? This is one of the questions where the distribution probably has changed, but the average rating hasn't necessarily. While 1, very unsatisfied, and 5, very satisfied, were pretty similar, 2, 3, and 4 all changed a noticeable bit. The satisfaction of the community with Valve's communication has for sure increased. A year ago, this question had some of the most negative responses in the entire survey. While the responses still aren't great today, it's a lot better than before. I doubt this one is by my ideas above. Whether through memes or just a general increase in tweets, the official CSGO team's Twitter has increased in appearance on the subreddit, probably resulting in this change. The community's appreciation with the game right now may seem identical to last year's, but if you look closely, you'll notice that there is an increase. Another positive change was with CSGO's performance on computers, it seems. It's a pretty noticeable change, with 1, 2, and 3 as answers decreasing, while 4 and 5 significantly increased. The next question seems to be different from most of the other questions. The distribution of satisfaction with the frequency of large updates has decreased. The opinion of the frequency on all updates is the only question that didn't see a significant change in the distribution. The actual opinion of stuff in updates has improved. While last year the distribution was approximately a bell curve, since then 4 and 5 as answers increased in popularity, while 1, 2, and 3 decreased. The satisfaction with the wait for the next operation has continued to be really negative. Despite this, there is a slight increase in positive opinions. While this may seem positive, this decrease in dislike could be due to the decrease in opinion of operations, which isn't a good thing probably. Both the opinion of the frequency of smurfs and cheaters has become much more positive, with the answers over the cheater question practically being mirrored. This is pretty awesome, as it may serve as evidence that Valve's increasing implementation of quality-focused matchmaking has produced results. Hitreg has also vastly increased in public opinion. The balance of weapons has also positively increased in the same way. This is also seen with the balance of pistols and the ump. Remember when that weapon was an ultra hot topic? While the distribution of satisfaction with pro tournaments has changed a bit between 2s and 3s, the mean satisfaction hasn't really changed, which is pretty good considering the 3, which is a large makeup of answers, means people are satisfied with the frequency of tournaments. The overall opinion has been satisfied with NA, but overall there is still a desire for more European tournaments. This may be due to a larger proportion of European answers. 
Lastly, the satisfaction with the CSGO community overall has a different distribution, but the average rating hasn't really changed. Last time I asked the number one thing people wanted added to the game. Many said an operation, a pistol rework, some with Source 2, Hit Reg, new maps, but interestingly, a new UI. Some a year ago were already wanting the hot topic of today. This is pretty evident with the answers now, with Panorama on top with a new operation just behind it. A larger desire for a new map pool in Source 2, and now a desire for CZ nerves, and the last one actually just got addressed in an update that happened about an hour ago while recording this audio. Astoundingly, 100% of the answers to this question were yes, two years in a row. Slaw Squadron therefore obviously deserves to work at Valve, and this should be effective immediately. Overall, the Reddit community has seen a positive change in most of the opinions dealing with CSGO. While this may not be all for good reasons, or maybe, not sure, the results are pretty interesting and I'll look forward to doing this again next year assuming school will not have killed me. This isn't all the data though, to video editing me's dismay. BCZ, a Brazilian CSGO YouTuber, had his own fanbase answer the form, resulting in a large change in the demographics of the survey overall. I thought it would be interesting to compare the results of Reddit's answers to his own fanbase. Unsurprisingly, the large makeup of his fanbase is South American. Out of the 1,000 or so that answered this question, there is zero from Australia or Africa with a tiny bit from North America and Europe. The rank distribution of his community is very different. The amount of globals decreases from 20% to only 6%. The relative makeup decreases for each rank until Legendary Eagle, where there is mostly an increase to make up for the lack of higher ranks. From here, most of the ranks increase in the representation. On to the questions. For the first few questions dealing with CSGO overall, the opinion was a lot more negative than it was for Reddit. This continued to be the trend until the questions about updates in CSGO, where suddenly the answers were more positive than Reddit's, excluding the opinion of the composition of updates. When it comes to the next operation, his fan base is both more patient and more excited for it, which is surprising since you would think if one goes up, then the other would go down. For Smurfs, Cheaters, and Hit Reg, some of the topics the Reddit community was most positive about, the Brazilian community was the least happy about. Perhaps the Smurf one can be explained by the higher representation of lower ranks, I'm not sure, but the Cheaters and Hit Reg response leaves me scratching my head. With Bouncing, while his community's answers were more negative for overall weapons in the ump, they were slightly more positive when it came to pistols. With Proplay, his community dramatically wants more tournaments compared to Reddit. His community wanted more tournaments in NA versus Reddit, while wanting less tournaments in Europe. Sorry for not asking about tournaments in South America. This separate part of the video wasn't planned at all. Lastly, his community also answered 100% yes to Slaw Squadron working at Valve. Valve, if you don't hire him now, you're basically committing a crime against humanity. When it comes to the free response, there is a large increase in desire for new maps. There is also a gaining interest in Panorama UI, which seems to be just around the corner. Overall, there isn't one general conclusion on the difference between Reddit and BCZ's community, with some noticeable changes on some of the questions both more negative and positive, but roughly the same general trend existed on all questions. In conclusion, it's hard to make a conclusion about this video. Plus, this is like the fifth page in the script, so I'm tired of writing. Overall, I'm very happy with how much could be said about the survey, and I hope it makes up for being gone for almost a year now, even though it obviously doesn't. School has been a thing, and six AP classes has been also a thing. But now with summer around the corner, I have many ideas to make, and I'm very excited to make them shortly.